let's do this I want to show you this so worm farms fellas I reckon that earth normal earthworms I'm no expert guys but normal normal earthworms the normal earthworms what's in every every uh, continent on the earth on this flat earth normal earthworms are just as good as red rig red wigglers the tiger worms um, there's another species I can't think of the red wiggler the tiger worms and something else but anyway folks we'll lift this up and I guarantee you this is gonna <laughs> I'm either gonna make a fool out of myself or uh, or I'm gonna win the bet so under here I think I mean it hasn't been watered for a couple of days it's a bit dry but there should be literally thousands of uh, worms so what I'm going to do guys is grab my little my worm tool over here if I can find it there it is this one and we'll show you that normal earthworms are just as good as red wigglers tiger worms or any other worm that you buy so here we go look so already you can see the worms down there so watch this I might be wrong but this is all my compost like my food scraps there's heaps of mosquitoes here at the moment too guys but look at that see all the earthworms there guys they're just as good as the red wigglers and all the other worms that you, what you buy see look at this look look at that guys so please fellas just don't be too too concerned of wasting your money on buying really really expensive worms when you can just get these worms anywhere in your garden you know or uh, nice fertile places go for a walk and find decomposing matter and you'll find all these beautiful earthworms so so they're just as good guys they do just as good a job as uh, red wigglers the uh, the tiger worms and there's just another worm I can't think of at the moment but you know and this is just one worm farm I've got huge ones as well you know I've got around 10 big worm farms so we're going to book my other ones eh because this video is going to end any minute so so if anyone can think of the other worm species, let me know. The red wiggler, the tiger worm, and there's another one. Oh, the night crawler. The night crawler, guys. So right here is just normal vermicomposting. So vermicomposting. And there's worms in here, but probably not as many. There would be, but... But I've also... Yeah, there's one there. So there, so all of the worms I've got are just normal, normal earthworms. I'll show you my other ones. So here, there's four here. This one's empty. And it's all full of uh, leaf mulch, kitchen scraps, cardboard, paper, t-shirts, cotton t-shirts, socks, everything. Anything, wool, sheep wool. They love sheep wool. So sheet wool guys. So here's a couple here. This one's probably pretty new, so you probably won't see any in here, but that one's new. And here, this one's got socks in it, my old woolen and cotton socks. But it can be a very, very slow process to decompose all these socks. Um, and also guys don't ever be afraid of slaters it's all part of mother nature all right don't ever be concerned if you see slaters in your garden it's all part of mother nature look at this look look at that guys look that one's unusual what's that one? Oh, what's that that looks like a bloody please can someone identify that one what's that one is that a normal earthworm Looks like a red wiggler. I don't know, guys. Can someone please help identify what this worm is? Is it a normal earthworm? 
is a night crawler. See, it's. I'd love it if someone could help me identify this worm, please. Because I have had worm farms in before, guys, so this one could be one from 12 years ago. That one there, see the. It's an unusual colour. But anyway, that's a good sign, guys. A, I didn't introduce this, so it's come from a garden somewhere. Could be a uh, soil. Oh, but anyway, under here, there's heaps of soil here, mate. Well, see a lot of. There's heaps of soil. But yeah, so I've got socks in here guys, so the socks are the worms will eat all these cotton socks, the worms, the microbes, the slaters and everything else will eat all your socks and t-shirts, your sheets, as long as it's cotton or uh, as long as it's cotton or sheet wool or a biodegradable material any type of clothes like this one here guys this one here what's it made out of what's it made out of cotton I reckon look at that fruit loom fruit of the loom HD cotton so that's even biodegradable you know why that's biodegradable guys you know why because NASA lies the earth is flat and God is real because you know who run the people of this world guys the people who love the world being upside down and confused they don't want people to know that God is real guys so everything's been turned upside down for us okay because they worship Satan they worship the devil and the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the earth's population that the devil that Satan never existed and everyone believed it and everyone believed it so they watch porn and filth every day they get drunk every night they smoke drugs like I did they backstab and gossip and bicker and everything else and that's why guys because the world is turned upside down can you imagine what the world would be like if people knew that God was real you know imagine what it would be like be beautiful you know arguing you'd be so much love and you know so I tell you what guys if you knew that the God was real you'd be on your hands and knees asking God for forgiveness and that's what I did when I found out God was real when I realized that the earth really is flat and that they're hiding everything from us and so forth so this one here guys this is my own composted poo so what I've got a composting toilet guys I just have a poo in a bucket or a poop and the worms love it look look at all the worms you see them all look the worms absolutely love your own poo So just normal, normal earthworms, guys. Look, you don't have to be. Don't waste your money on red wigglers and night crawlers and tiger worms. Just buy. Just get them out of your garden. Go for a walk outside your garden right now. I guarantee, if you dig in the soil, you'll find 50, 50 earthworms. And that's all I basically started with, guys. 50 earthworms, and look at I've got millions of them. And this is what I recycle guys, just everything, all paper, cardboard, I don't even rip it up into pieces, I used to rip it up into small pieces, but now I just chuck it on and the worms will eventually eat it all, so it doesn't have to be cut into tiny pieces. And we'll have a look at this one. Once again, guys, it's a bit dry this one. It's a bit dry. 
need some water. But anyway, oh, it's beautiful and hot. It's hot, fellas, hot. And that's how the worms love it, nice and warm. Not too hot, but just warm. So, so I've got 15% of my power left, guys, 15%. So we'll keep going for a little bit.